Finally, we meet again. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, all over the world. So my name is Andy. I'm from Indonesia. And this podcast, as usual, is about volcanological and geotourism. And this times, I, I, I have again quite special special guest from Slovakia. So he is volcanologist, and then so far he is the team of Vulcan Discovery, and then we're gonna have topic, which is quite interesting. It's about Vulcan journalism. Yeah. So he is uh, from Slovakia, and then I would like to show his profile of. Uh, our guest this time, yeah, Martin Kelko, yeah, and then this Hi, is everyone. the this is the profile, volcanologist and geomorphologist, and uh, also his background is about physical geography, education in master degree or uh, geography and geomorphology, yeah, and then his patient is quite passionate about volcano news editor, and study volcanology and passionate about traveling to volcanoes all over the world. And then, okay, please, uh, Martin, can you say hello to everyone? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, Andy. Thank you for inviting me to your podcast. You're doing a great job anyway. Thanks. Okay, Martin, thank you very much. So, uh, how is the life now in Canada? Because you are from Slovakia, and then now you live in Canada, right? Yeah, I'm currently living in Canada. Uh, the life is pretty good. Very now, nice, uh, very nice nature here around. A lot of, a lot of mountains and everything. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, Martin. Uh, I know you because you are the in the team of Vulcan Discovery. But yeah. so far we never met, yeah. So I'm I'm I thank you very much that uh, you are willing to to be here as my guest. So this is actually my initiation, Martin, because I'm here and from Indonesia. You know we have been one and a half years you know in pandemic and then so far no tourism especially to volcanoes and then yeah no, no job so this is my way actually how to learn how to keep you know a study about volcanology and uh, about geotourism you know from experts from friends 
uh, about story, sharing, and get experience from everybody, especially the people who are doing in the volcanoes and then related with volcanoes. And then, yes, Martin. So actually, how long have you been in the team with Vulcan, Vulcan Discovery and then why you, you like this kind, this job? Yeah. So I joined uh, Vulcan Discovery in September 2019, as I emailed to Vulcan Discovery to Tom, Tom Pfeiffer, uh, a former of Vulcan Discovery. I, I asked them uh, or to inquire about vacancies or volunteering to improve my knowledges. So, yes, I joined the team 2019, and from that uh, from that day, I kind of became became a Volcano News editor. And my experiences, uh, why or why I'm interested in volcanoes? So, since my childhood, I love maps, globes. Used to learn capital cities and flags in the world, everything related to geography. So I decided to study geography at high school, then physical geography and geomorphology at university. Um, as I started to travel more and more uh, as I, um, in the world, I realized that uh, geology and geomorphology and traveling is exactly that way what I want to do. So I think the volcanoes are the results why I do it and why I am fell in love with volcanoes and geology. Yeah, Martin. So we have topic for our podcast today. You know, this is only we can do, you know, uh, by virtual, yeah, because we are far away, you know, you in now in Canada and I'm in the Indonesia, so almost, you know, how many hours are different, yeah, very far away. Yeah. 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 And then now we're going to discuss about this topic about volcano journalism. So because now I have something like, you know, why people have to do this that also quite important, you know, for the volcano tourism and geotourism. Sometimes not many people like to do writings and then make article and especially how to inform about volcanic activity yeah okay so volcanic activity is about sometimes people care about this eruptions and then you know the, the death toll of the people become victims and then sometimes the media and some journalists they don't have background of volcanology and even they don't know geology. So it's like very hard how to inform and how to write about this. Sometimes they don't know basically even about lahar, magma or lava. So they have to learn a lot. You know? So I think we need like specialists, you know, like you, Martin, that now you are working for Vulcan Discovery to write articles, to update the news, you know, about volcano activity all over the world. This is not easy job, but you have patience so far, then this is what I like, you know, that's why I invite you. And not, not many people like this, Martin. And then this is about, uh, there is volcano for the people, you know, there is some articles and here about volcanic plume, ash, steam, rock volcanic gases, rock crystal, this is something that you have to write, you know, you have to write in the article of Vulcan Discovery. So yeah, Martin, sure. is that difficult, you know, uh, to write uh, this kind of article, you know, that you have done, you have been doing so far, you know, with Vulcan Discovery? Is that difficult or is that true that actually before you write this, you need to collect like literacy, like your know, reference or everything. So can you tell me about this? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the first things first is um, to follow uh, local volcano observatories websites as well. I try to follow their bulletins almost every day to get the latest information about volcanoes and their activity. Uh, I try to do my best 
uh, and bring as latest news as is possible. Second, no less important thing is to digging for news and information on social media. This is also really important, like Twitter and Facebook, where local observers uh, provide or report their pictures of current activity of volcano, as well as observatories. Uh, I, I think it's very important to check a volcano picture in detail and try to describe the whole process and current activity to get the best information to write an article. Uh, I check uh, many, many, many websites, many web pages. Uh, very useful is, for example, Myrova. It's a near real time volcanic hotspot detection system for volcano surface temperature including Volcanus webcams. Uh, very useful is also uh, a Volcano textbooks. I have many Volcano textbooks. Uh, it really helped myself while writing an article. It's, it's very, really useful, yes. <laughs> so that's the, this is the process how I do a, uh, an article. Yeah, Martin, so... You know, I'm, I've been working as a volcanological guide almost more than 15 years. But actually, I'm yeah. not like you. Yeah. So <laughs> your job, I know, is not easy. Even actually, I, I would like to write about Morapi. You know, I have uh, very interesting topic about. Uh, I want to write about Tula Dome, but still, I, I need to collect the literacy, the the some materials. You know, that I can collect from the field and also from the expert from the geological survey of Indonesia about Morabi. But I will I will give you something yeah, to, to write down this. And then Martin. And how many countries that actually uh, you have been, you know, traveling uh, to volcanoes all over the world? Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I visited a few countries or volcano countries. The one of the first country I visited was Iceland in 2016. Uh, everyone knows that it's the largest volcanic island in the world, famous for its volcanoes and geysers. It's the only country in the world sitting astride the mid-Atlantic ridge. Uh, then I went to Peru that year, 2016. Uh, Peru is it's, a, Peru. Okay. it's a country full of volcanoes, like all South America, the volcanic belt and at, in Andes. And then and af, one, one year after, I traveled South America for the three months from Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, and Patagonia. In these countries, a lot of, lot of volcanoes I climbed or just uh, watched. Then Colombia, I have one good friend. Uh, he's a volcanologist, geologist. Hugo, I say hello. <laughs> okay, I Colombia. hope they can see this. Yeah, he took me to Nevada del Ruiz volcano. It's really beautiful. And the last time I visited volcano was in Italy with Volcano Discovery as I participate in the tour to Stromboli and Etna and Lepari Islands in October last year. Really good experience for me. Yeah. yeah but. I also, I also, I w I've never been to Indonesia. Yeah, but it's on my must see list because of beautiful country and volcanoes. So, do you know about Indonesia, Martin? Uh, sorry? Do you know about Indonesia? But you've never been here, right? Oh, no, never been here. Uh, I've never been to Indonesia, but it's my on my to the list. Uh, uh, I would like to join to one of your volcano expedition. So I hope we'll see each other. Yeah. It's great. A lot of Martin. volcanoes there. I wrote uh, a few articles about Indonesian volcanoes, Merapi, Sinabung. Beautiful, yeah, you know these volcanoes? <laughs> Sorry? You know this, this, the, the name of volcanoes, Sinabung. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know not everything, not all, but uh, there are a lot of uh, famous volcanoes in Indonesia. 
Yeah, Martin. So, yeah, actually, I've seen a lot, and then uh, I have read about many here your articles like this in Vulcano Discovery. Yeah, this is about. So this is a very nice website, yeah, about Vulcano news. And then, yeah, you you write these all things, and then it's, you are it's, it's quite good hmm. because a lot of yeah. to do, you know, with Indonesian Vulcanos and also different Vulcanos all over the world like this. And then, how did you fall in love, Martin, with Vulcanos actually? How did I fall in love? Yeah, oh, <laughs> why you like Volcanoes uh, yeah. I think this is first okay. time, right? So because you said you know, in the beginning, I observe about you. This is first time, you know, like this podcast online. So yeah, be relaxed, my friend. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is our time, you know. You can take a cup of coffee, no problem. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've never did an uh, online podcast before. All right. <laughs> Yeah, this is simple idea, Martin. Yeah, so the concept. This is actually the podcast. You know, talk show, entertaining. But this is about story, sharing, and experience. Yeah, and then this is sometimes the people you know your name from the website of local discovery. This is quite huge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big website. That contain everything about Vulcano, about the earthquake, about the also there is also Vulcano tour, yeah, it's all over the world, especially also to Indonesia. And then about journalistic, Martin. So actually, uh, how to write this, you know, how to write this, Martin. So do you need like a special a background, or you can just write, you know, based on the information directly? Oh yeah, uh, I think uh, who who write um, or the person who write an article about volcanoes should have a background in volcanology or or passion or enthusiast enthusiastic. Uh, yeah, I study volcanology and geology every day uh, as much as possible. I try to do my. I try to. Uh, studying uh, another school and university after I came from Canada. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's really important to, to have uh, volcanological knowledges and information. I have many, many volcano, volcano textbooks and a literature. Yeah. Yeah. Here, Martin. So actually, Volcano, especially which is erupting, sometimes people are, you know, they scare about this, you know, but in, especially in Indonesia, yeah. the country like, uh, like in Europe, maybe you have lesson, you know, maybe basic about Volcano or something, but I don't know, but in Indonesia, we, you know, we, we don't have this. So in our school, it's no lesson about a volcano about the dangerous or about mitigation so people learn by themselves or uh, getting information from uh, when there is like one volcano active yeah from newspaper and then but sometimes so many things that actually not correct you know about you know the way of writing because sometimes the journalist itself uh, sometimes they need to learn more and more about volcanology and how to to write and then not scare people so some so like like this martin so here for example sometimes also this is happening in indonesia like ice iceland iceland volcano eruptings and then volcano eruptions and then about evacuation and about this is the child of krakatau volcano that actually Hear, hear more, you know, that actually this is kind of education that we need to have this, you know, in our school, for example, maybe, you know, for basic, 
because I know from my friend in France. So, in the basic school, they have like, like, uh, like short course about volcano, about to know this. So, journalistic is actually not to scare people, but this is, you know, we, we write the fact, you know, based on the activity of volcano, the yeah. impact, you know, to yes. human life and environments like this. So, this is, this is kind of journalistic that here also element of volcanic ash that people can learn about this. So, this also, uh, you do this as well, Martin, in the Volcan Discovery website. Yes. So you write the truth about the activity, about the victim, about the impact, you know, of volcano erupting, you know, to people and environments. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what was the question? Sorry, I just. Uh, mm. So my question is, before you write, you know, about news, you know, to the website, for example. So have you study first, you know? about you know how to inform for like more educative you know like that people can know about the cases about the impact of impact of eruptions and mitigation and then how many times earthquake for example so did you did you did you write also completely oh when you yeah, write yeah, yeah. Uh, like articles news yeah, I studied it, it before uh, because uh, uh, I I would like to um, to become a, a guide. But uh, first, you need to you need to get more and more information and knowledge about about uh, about volcanoes and articles how to do it. Uh, and it's, it's it's really important to to do this. Like this, Martin. So I have, uh, I collect some article that I study. This is here from online. So like this. Yeah. So this is kind of the number of Indonesian volcanoes. And then this is uh, evacuados, you know, so evacuations. And then this is kind of also of journalism of volcano. Yeah. And then this is that maybe you have to write that to inform people so must be aware for example the volcanoes and then to how to anticipate this so at least from your article from your uh, journalistic that you you wrote you know in the website that people can study and then they can get some information education about volcano and then martin do you have like a specialization uh, of writing about volcanoes? Maybe about geomorphology or about uh, tectonic or about uh, volcan activity? So do you have something like that specialization? Specialization. Yeah, yeah geomorphology and physical geography is uh, it's a kind it's it's a part of geology. It's not a it's not a volcanology. But uh, uh, there is there are a lot of uh, common information with, with geology, so that's why I decided to study volcanology, or and geophysics, or geological engineering. Uh, this is this is my this is my uh, plan to get the uni to another university to study volcanology, because I really love it and yeah. Yeah, here, uh, once again, I study about your articles here, Martin. So this is about, about Sinabung. Yes. Yeah. So this is quite interesting, you know, Sinabung is one volcano that before was very long time dormant, you know, 400 years. And then again, erupt from 2010 and up to now. Yeah, so I've been I've been there with a group of Vulcan Discovery many times, Martin. But this is uh, for me. You made the article is quite nice and quite uh, informative. 
yeah, this is the way that I like. So I think it's like you know, even you 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 write about percussive flows and then earthquake. So this is not easy, Martin. Yeah, and journalism or journalistic is very very important. You know, for promoting volcano tourism. Uh, do you know about geotourism or not, Martin? Geotourism, yeah. In, in um, your country or in a Canada? little bit, a little bit. It's a uh... It, it, it's a it's a tourism about about ge um, to to geology and volcanoes, but uh, I know that you you have Indonesia geotourism. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe in your country, maybe you have like geopark or not in Slovakia, for example, because actually no, no you we don't are have originally a from Slovakia, don't you? There is no geopark. It's like a geopark like that. No, geopark we don't is, have. You don't have geopark. Uh, sorry. Ge geopark is like a. Uh, this is a. Uh, ah yeah. Yeah, geopark. Oh, I got it. Uh, no, we don't have uh, geotourism in Slovakia. There are no volcanoes, but they are volcanoes, but they are extinct volcanoes. So. So there is no like uh, activity. No, no activity. Extinct volcano. Yes. Yeah, in Indonesia we have uh, 127, and then this is categorized, categorized, you know, in type A, type B, type C. So type A means this is quite active, and then this is the volcano that has historical eruptions. Since a thousand and six hundred up to now, so there is oh. historical eruption. So, and then type B, this is a volcano that dormant, yeah. So there is a historical eruptions from a thousand and six hundred, but no eruption so far. And then type C is, this is unknown about the when was the last eruption, but there is still activity like fumarole, like like thermal, you know, in the volcano. So this is Indonesia. So one of the best country, oh. you must go here, Martin. What do you think? <laughs> did you, did you like Indonesia, Martin? I wish, yeah. And what's, what's your plan to Indonesia then? Do you have something planned? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I would like to visit a like, few volcanoes, but I really I really like uh, Kava Ijen volcano uh, because of, uh, due to its famous turquoise color in... Uh, and Crater Lake. This is uh, this is one of volcanoes that I really want to visit. It's really nice and beautiful. For yeah, example. I will tell you later. So I will show you the each and crater. So uh, I I I also have idea, Martin. So I want to make like. Uh, not podcast, but podcast, uh, we need like somebody or one or two or three persons, you know, for for the talk show, for the communication. But I want, I want to make like single, single talk show. This is called a guiding presentation, Martin. So okay. I will guide you, but you can follow me online and then you can ask. For example, I will explain about, you know, how to climb Ijen. And uh, how is Ijen, the activity, the volcanological and the ge geotourism, so everything about Ijen. And then people can follow this and then can ask, you know. So I'm like, uh, I'm become like a virtual uh, online consultant. It's okay, you know, this yes. is pandemic because so far I've, uh, I have no job, Martin. So yeah, people can donate, you know, <laughs> like, so that okay. program this will be continue, yeah. <laughs> because the same like I'm, I do guiding, Martin, yeah. Because you said you want also to be a guide, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, volcanological guide, a guide volcanolog like this. So, what about this, Martin? Why you why you like to become a guide as well, not only volcanologist? Yeah, that, yeah. That's because uh, it's, it's related it's not easy, to, Martin. to yeah. Uh, that's probably related to uh, I like uh, I like traveling, I like mountains and nature, and I. Uh, I do I do a outdoor outdoor lifestyle 
And if you connect it with volcanoes and uh, traveling, this is a dream job, you know, it's just a dream job for me to be a volcanological guide uh, with your clients. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really good to, to give my knowledge and information to, to clients to, to teach them about, about volcanoes and geology and nature and everything around you. That's that's why I would like. Then you to can become... come to Indonesia. So you may join, you know, maybe one or two times in my tour for expedition. Yeah. Yeah. So well, okay. this is the way I think. Yeah, you can yeah. follow. But I hope the pandemic will <laughs> will get over soon, Martin. Finish. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. can you end the pandemic, Martin? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Now we are almost tired here in Indonesia. So I cannot go to. Volcanoes outside of Java, everything restricted, and then, yeah. <laughs> What about in yes. Canada, Martin? Martin, now, if I may know about uh, tourism or even pandemic in your country or Canada. Uh, excuse me, one more time, because uh, I was. So, what about the, the pandemic in Canada? I mean, the 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 pandemic, the COVID 19 the pandemic in Canada now still mounting or decrease? No, tourism already open or ah, already open. yeah um, the restriction the restrictions are over uh, since first first July here in Canada you don't have to you don't have to wear a face mask uh, in uh, indoor outdoor mm, it's 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 getting free in Canada really? yeah in here not possible you know This is still lockdown mm. here, like micro, micro, micro lockdown. So, yeah, masker is a mask, and then, yeah, and then we can we, we are not allowed to even to buy food, and then, and then oh, sit really? there inside in the restaurant. This is not allowed. So we oh. can buy, and then you know we pack, and then we can bring it home like this. Oh It's, really? So mm. this is the way there. Yeah. So tourism is is still is nothing. So tourism is actually our uh, second main, you know, income for the national income you know, after gas and oil. But now tourism very decreased, like going down, you know. But until now, we are still locked down. Yeah, we, we are still in lockdown. In here, we mm. we don't say lockdown, but uh, like restriction, you know, micro area that restricted, and then. Uh, there is some restriction area, especially Java and Bali, from three until 20, and then maybe will be extended again, you know, until 30, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Yes. Yeah, this is of Indonesia, you know. That that's why, that's why I I never stop, you know, promoting. So thank you very much, you know, for you. You help me. You help Indonesian people, and then you promote Indonesia. You always yes. write about Indonesia volcanoes. So you ask my photos sometimes and then you collect photos by yourself, you know, from many resources uh, about Indonesian yeah. volcanoes. So this is, thank you very much, Martin. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, I, I, I often use your pictures of uh, Merapi uh, and I use it to my, to my articles. So I'm really thankful for it. And you're you're doing a great job. Yeah, always, always. So any times when I have uh, information, especially about Indonesia, still many volcanoes in Indonesia, Martin. Every month, you know, yeah. Normally there is always one volcano erupt. <laughs> 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 But it's not like <laughs> Hawaii or yeah, this different. So most most volcanoes in Indonesia are strato, yeah explosive and effusive as well so and then when you talk about each and martin so maybe i can share you know this to everyone yeah about about each and so look at that yeah so this is the each and crater so mm -hmm. this is uh, the most acidic you know lake in the world martin yeah the most yeah this is the ph about 0.5 until 0.8 is very acidic so, oh, yeah. so beautiful very very beautiful this volcano 
this is also that uh, one volcano that you must go and then from each end you can continue to for example to bromo which is quite also famous yeah bromo yes yeah, uh, bromo here, tangira yeah. yeah here bromo so, yeah, the big caldera yeah this is uh, the big caldera yeah this is also quite amazing the complex of the volcanic you know and also near bromo there is Sumeru volcano this is the highest volcano in java mm -hmm. those are quite active yeah bromo and then Sumeru. especially Sumeru is quite active and on the crater it, there is always explosions yeah nice so martin i collect some photos you know of you so actually i observe and then i collect some photos about your experience that maybe you can share your photography your experience you know from all over the world i think i will show you one by one can you explain this that i or if everyone here can 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 learn and then to know about uh, your experience so far so this one is what amazing Mar martin but i don't know this so can you tell this about uh, yeah this about is this, uh, this is from from traveling uh, from my traveling in south america in 2017 this is uh, bolivia and lican Cabor volcano really nice uh, strato strato volcano really nice cone-shaped volcano it's beautiful so there is snow as well yeah, on the top and then this is active volcano or not martin uh this is dormant i think this is dormant volcano not active uh currently and then this is the second so what yeah, is this, this is martin uh, this is uh, the caldera in yeah this is this this is uh, still in equator it's kyoto caldera really beautiful and as you can see down there is there is a shore there is a shore i i slept there uh, in a tent uh, it's really beautiful it's a it's a huge it's a de desitic caldera this is desitic so yeah. i think this is was from the uh, very explosive eruption right yes yes so this is caldera not, is this formed, is not yeah, formed this by is not mar crater uh, this is from the explosive eruptions from the Detroit. yeah the acidic yeah, is yeah. when very high yeah, explosive the, yeah high explosive yeah. yeah destroy whole building of and uh, this is the result of the colors yeah, this is in iceland this is geysir called geysir it's in the southwestern iceland it was the first geysir described in a or first known to modern europeans it's uh, this this geysir is named like the, the, the is the geysir which is named for after this geysir the first geysir in the world like uh, which is named. The name is Kesia, right? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a geyser, Kesia. <laughs> okay, so this is in Iceland. Yeah, it's in Iceland. So, uh, I think uh, there are five uh, known famous geyser in the world, and one one of one of them is in Indonesia. So I think it's in Iceland, and then also in Yellowstone, right, in uh, United yes. States. And in Indonesia also we have geyser. This is in uh, Geopark, Chile too. So this is Geopark. There is a geyser. This is you know formed by the volcanic tectonic process. So you must also go here, Martin. Even Geopark sometimes there is no active volcano, but Geopark you can study a lot. You know about the geomorphology as well. So Geopark and geo, especially geotourism. This is the concept of tourism that. Mm -hmm. A focus on uh, aspect of geology okay yeah and then aspect of local culture local culture yeah the cultural diversity and then the biodiversity so this is this is three concept of geotourism yeah especially in indonesia because yeah we have this is a lot you indonesia you know we have uh, so many local language you know so more than thousand languages are different. So what about Slovakia? How many languages do you have? <laughs> yeah, we have 
yeah we have one language but uh, there are yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of uh, local small languages in in the parts of Slovakia because Slovakia is really small is we have only five million inhabitants it's a small country we have but we have a few di di dialects in in every region of country but we know each other we understand each other and then uh, how many re official religion in slovakia it's one one of uh, like 95% uh, people are christians all right yes yeah like uh, indonesia martin we have you know six official religions yeah and then yeah majority are well, which muslim. ones it's about yeah my, mm, yeah muslim islam is about mm -hmm. uh, around 70 to 75 80% yeah, of the population mm -hmm. and christian yeah. catholic yeah protestant and then hindu buddhist yeah. and yeah kung fu Chu, yeah. yeah this is indonesia martin so I hope that one day uh, you must come to Indonesia and then please I wish if there is tour expedition with Vulcan discovery you, you might join yeah yeah, then yeah you will know I hope we how see, to do guiding I hope we see each other <laughs> I hope so I believe maybe, <laughs> yeah so uh, I think you know program about you know Uh, we have one of the famous program which is called from Krakatau to Bali, right? Oh yeah. So we travel from uh, we we start from Krakatau and then to next volcano, Papandian in West Java, and then to Merapi, and then yes. to Bromo, and then to Ijen the last, and then end to Bali. So this is actually most uh, quite most. Uh, famous volcano you know for for tourism especially Merapi and then Bromo and Ijen and Krakato of course you know the that that, that quite the uh, quite legend due to the eruption was in 1883 so you must yeah. know this Martin it's not from only from YouTube <laughs> yeah <laughs> do, do, do you like also Krakato Martin Krakatoa yeah. you know Krakatoa yeah yeah you sure Anna Krakato Anak Rakata, right? Yeah, this is this volcano still is the, quite uh, still the gassing amazing. Last, yeah, Rakata. So yeah, you can ask me after this. Yeah, if if you want to know about uh, any volcanoes in Indonesia, so okay. I've been I got almost it. you know 85 volcanoes active in that big expeditions. And Martin, also I found this photo. So I don't know. It's quite interesting. So what is this photo, Martin, from from you? Yeah, this is yeah. from this is so also from like... Iceland. And uh, uh, so what is this? Is like railway, this... no? Sorry. Like railway or what is that? Or road, road, the road. Oh so yeah, the black one. Yeah, this is from Iceland. <laughs> so what is the black like? Uh, long. Ah, black. Yeah, the black uh, yeah the black line is a route, but uh, what you can see around it's uh, lava flows, probably from uh, lucky eruptions. Oh, I don't really? know the year, but yeah, the lucky lucky volcano, last lucky fissures. Uh, uh, lucky was, fissure, yeah. Yeah, huge lava flows covered the the big area of Iceland. And then this is the uh, next photo that I got. I got it. So this yeah, this is from Iceland. Different, yes. Martin. Yeah, this is quite you know different landscape and then different geomorphology. And what is the white? This is snow or like ash? Oh, this is uh, yeah. Oh, this is snow. This is the glacier and snow. Glacier. And the snow. white one, the white color. Yes. So this is actually this is in the volcano or what kind of morphology, Martin? Uh, you mean the, like the, the black feature? Yeah, I mean the 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 photo that you was here. This is in the volcano, or this is in the in volcano, or no? This is the mountain. This is not a volcano. Just uh, what you can see on the picture. All right. This is in Iceland as well, right? Sorry. Okay. 
This is in Iceland. Yeah, this is Iceland. Yes. All right. So from Iceland. Then. Okay. And now so you can see also... the. Yeah, this is uh, Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia. There are three Columbia. persons in the middle. Is a Hugo, my friend, volcanologist. Uh, the left uh, is his student. Uh, on the right, that's me. Oh, it's right. a really beautiful, it's also active volcano. beautiful volcano. Yes, yeah. We're standing on lava flows. This is Chimborazo. No, sorry, this is Cotopaxi in in uh, Ecuador. I climbed Cotopaxi once. Really beautiful, beautiful shape, beautiful starter volcano. So you need like special equipment to climb this, yeah? Because this is like, it's like high and then snowy on the top, you know? Yeah, you have to have, you have or to active wear, volcanoes. yeah, you should have, you, you, you have to wear a crampons, ice aches, uh, probably a row because it's a glacier covered. Uh, volcano, you need to have uh, um, climbing equipment. Martin, this is uh, to, to reach, to reach I never been like this. Sorry? You know, I never seen like this, you know, especially snow. So yeah. I never been also with crampon uh, climbing yeah. a snowy volcano. This is also actually my dream. So I never seen snow, Martin. Okay. Only maybe in the uh, you know, ice skating, <laughs> this is artificial snow. Yeah? This is not true. I can, that, you show me in uh, Indonesian volcanoes, I can show you volcanoes, uh, for example, in South America or in Ecuador, I can show you. <laughs> so, Martin, uh, besides you have been to South America and then maybe have you been to Asia or European European volcanoes, like volcanoes in Europe, mm. beside uh, Stromboli, Set and Etna. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, beside uh, the volcano that you have been there in uh, South America. Yes. And then you said uh, to Stromboli and then to Etna. So any other volcano you you have visited? Ah uh, yeah yeah yes. Uh, I was uh, in Iceland. This is the part of Europe, and I think it's that's all from Europe. And I was in about Asia. I was only uh, I was only in Kyrgyzstan. It is the Asian Kyrgyzstan. country. This is the most farther uh, country I visited on the on the east. So I've never been to uh, south uh, south Southeast Asia. Only in Kyrgyzstan. You're very lucky, Martin. So <laughs> you've been, you know, you, you've been traveled, you know, all over the world. And then, but yeah, not yet Indonesia. So yeah, yeah. this is the home, the homeland of volcanoes, Martin. This is, this is the mistake. I've never <laughs> been to Indonesia. This is the dream, yes. the dream, no? Yeah, but uh, I fix it. And after, after <laughs> pandemic, I will, uh, yeah. this, this is going to be the first country. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah please bring some tourists and promoting uh, more indonesia with your articles with your okay. journalistic martin yeah and then i hope uh everybody can can read your articles yeah because your writing your journalistic with full kind discovery is quite nice yeah so mm -hmm. this is quite uh you know structural it's quite informative like this and then, yeah, it's so far as people like, you know, to read your your articles, you know. And then, okay, Martin, so I think uh, about Volcano Journalistic. So, Thanks. do you think it's okay? Is it is it okay if maybe you write something about extreme condition, about the victim or, you know, and then how not to scare people about your writings, Martin? You have yeah, to write yeah, uh, honestly or how to make it be safe or whatever. So especially because you work for Vulcan Discovery and then because Vulcan Discovery is the the travel agent that, you know, provide 
Vulcano Tours expedition like that. So how to make you know people not afraid you know to go to Vulcano's Martin? So what do you think about your skill of uh, journalism, journalistic? Okay, good question. I think uh, yes, as a journalist, uh, you should not have you should not to scare people because. The volcanology and geology is the science, and you should uh, you should use uh, uh, right uh, right terms and uh, right uh, knowledges. Mm. It's I think it's not good to scare people about volcanoes. I think the very very important is uh, to learn people or local people uh, what is the volcano, what is the what is the hazard of volcano? What is the pyrocastic flows, lahars, and this stuff? It's I think it's uh, an education is really important. I think so, like something education. like this, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So because, we have to uh, tell about uh, the, the ash, the steam. A lot of, a lot of medias um, uh, write smoke, which is the wrong term in volcanology. We know that it's a it's a plume. It's a volcanic plume of steam, yeah, as as we can see in the picture. No. Yeah. yeah, that's why Martin. So sometimes, even like me, you know, sometimes, yeah, many people don't like me, you know, because yeah, this is true, yeah, because maybe <laughs> I'm crazy, you know. So I always, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, go to the active volcanoes, you know erupt things but this is the way you know i my skill you know and then it's my knowledge you know if like in the pandemic so i don't change my job you know people yes. guides you know i know and then i understand so they they have to survive but look at this this is my way how to keep learnings how to keep you know be informed you know about volcanoes and then still i always you know struggle very yeah. persistent to promote Indonesia, to sell Indonesia, to sell volcanoes, you know. And now we develop geotourism because geotourism in Indonesia now we have so many geopark, and every geopark they have uh, the unique thing, and then you know, and then the added value, and then the the unique, and then this is that we can sell, you know, to all over the world, Martin. It's not only erupting or active volcanoes but you know by geopark if you come and then if i guide you or if i uh explain you about so there is like you know uh, oceanic crust and then uh, melang area that you know in geology you know, this is from the collide of from you know from oceanic plate you know that meet with the uh, different plate yeah so this is in Indonesia, you can see this and then very, very old volcanoes and then volcanic activity. This is, yeah, this is the concept of geotourism, but that also you can learn about local people, local wisdom. Yeah. And then, yeah, so many attractions in, in Indonesia. That's why. And then please uh, keep promoting this, Martin. Okay. Yeah. I will. About Indonesia, even you never never been here, not yet. Yeah, you never been here, but I know. But I will. So I will. I always read about your articles about Indonesian volcano Sinabung, Merapi. This is I will provide you photos. Yeah, if you just ask me. After this, I will go out. You know, after micro lockdown, lockdown, and then I will, I will go to out of in in Molak. You know. There are two volcanoes that are erupting and then very interesting, you know, it is to Mount Ibu and to Pono and yeah. also perhaps to Krakata again. You know. So now I make video, make footage about volcano. So yeah, so this I collaborate with filmmaker. So like that. So this is the only way, Martin, that I can survive from pandemic, you know, but still uh, related and still then regarding active. volcanoes. Yeah. So what do you think about still, this? Crazy, yeah. Huh? You're still you're still <laughs> still active like volcano. <laughs> That's why people call me anti volcano. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Sixteen years, you know, I've been walking like this, and then chasing and then you know, walking volcanoes. Even in the pandemic, so still I can 
I can make a little bit money regarding Volcano. So I do, so I'm doing like uh, guiding presentations and then I make calendar, you know, Martin, I have a lot of okay. photos. A lot of prospects. One of many, many best photos, yeah. So I, I collect this from many uh, active volcanoes in Indonesia. So I make calendar and then, yeah, I'm doing podcasts like this. And then now is I can make a little bit money because I can offer something that people can make the same podcast, but they sell their product. Yeah, here are many people who has, you know, like travel agency and then so now they want to make podcasts like this with broadcast and then, yeah. And then, you know, Martin, I learn everything like this myself. Yeah. And before, you know, I, I sell about, you know, a virtual tour of Vulcano. Yeah, I think maybe, I don't know, you know this or not. So last year, so I made uh, Vulcano Virtual Tour International. So this is, yeah. has been participated, I you know, I participate. 16 countries. You as well, right? Yo, this is also yes. the way for me. Yeah. And then from that moment, from that event, so I was uh, got invited by the government, by the Ministry of Tourism to present about the virtual tour. And then, yeah, this is, yeah, people get inspired you know, of this. And then always about Volcano. Yeah. yeah, it's a great job. So uh, great I job, don't Andy. know. I don't know. Okay, Martin. So I think uh, it's great. Yeah, that now before we gonna end our podcast. So do you have something like uh, message, you know, to Indonesian people about Vulcano journalism? Yeah, and then about Vulcano journalistic to all over the world before we end this podcast, Martin. So. Please, yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how to say about work, uh, journalism, but uh, let people educate about about oh, right. volcanoes, uh, geology, and everything. What uh, what can what can be impact? For example, in Indonesia, you know, volcanoes can be can be dangerous and hazardous for people in Indonesia. I think people should educate more and more and. This is really important. That's that's all uh, I can say to the end of this podcast. Education. Educations. And what about conservation, Martin? So this is edu uh, conservation as well, yeah. Education and maybe conservations. Yes. Also to volcanoes, yeah. But education is most important, yeah. I think it's most important, especially for Indonesia, because this is about this podcast. Mm, let people educate about hazard and danger and uh, about hazards from volcanoes, because it's the, the biggest hazard in your country. I think. Okay, Martin. So thank you very much for your, for your time. And then thank you very much for your knowledge about your sharing, about your experience, about your knowledge, about article. So because actually in Indonesia, like me, to be honest, you know, I need to improve my skill of writing. So to also making articles. Yeah, I've been a lot of experience, but, you know, so far I try to write like a book. Yeah. And then especially article. So sometimes still quite lazy. <laughs> So I have uh, quite good knowledge about volcanology, about volcanoes experience, experience it, but so I need to improve this. So I hope that uh, I would like to learn from you, yeah, if you don't mind, Martin. Yeah. Okay, and learn uh, from me of guiding. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you for inviting me to your podcast. As I said before many times, you're doing a great job anyway, and you're helpful and this is this is the way do, do it do it if you like it do it I, and i hope we see each other in indonesia on on the top of one of volcano of somewhere in indonesia okay then so see you next see you next time martin 
So okay. keep the spirit, keep working with your Vulcano journalistic, yeah. and then share your knowledge, yeah. And then thank you very much, Martin, Mark, my friend. So keep help, and then I hope the pandemic, you know, this is gonna end, yeah, soonest, and then you know, very quickly, yeah, especially okay. to Indonesia and then uh, European, American, you know, so they will open. Borders. You know, the borders to Indonesia, yeah. Like okay. This. Okay, Martin. See you next time. Thank you very much for the podcast. Bye. Yeah. Enjoy. Bravo. Enjoy. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> okay.